book friends, today's episode of Biblio Happy Hour is brought to you by Bibliofinder, a new online directory for independent bookstores. Bibliofinder allows users to find bookstores worldwide based on your current or planned location. book friends welcome to biblio happy hour a podcast about bookstores and everything bookish i'm your host victoria wood in today's show we'll be talking to lisa morton and she's the manager at iliad bookshop and they're located in north hollywood california if you love the show and what we're doing over on biblio finder and you want to help us support local independent bookstores visit our patreon page at patreon.com forward slash biblio finder patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores you'll also get perks such as access to our full podcast episodes behind the scenes content, an opportunity to send in questions, get discount codes, shout outs, plus more. That's patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. We'll also leave a link in the show details. Before we get started with today's episode, wherever you're listening, please don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and leave us a rating and review. When you do this, you're helping us to reach a much larger audience, and it is one way you can help us to put independent bookstores at the forefront and make Bibliofinder plus the show a success. Alrighty guys, let's talk with our guests. Lisa, thank you so much for coming on the show, and welcome to Biblio Happy Hour. Oh, hey, thanks for having me. This is fun. <laughs> so happy to have you here. And yes, we're going to have lots of fun, I promise. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, before we get started, are you a tea or a coffee person? Oh, I'm absolutely a tea person. In fact, I call myself a tea snob because I am really picky about my teas. Okay, uh, what, what's your favorite? What's your go-to? I love a really good oolong. And I go to um, a Chinese tea store out in the San Gabriel Valley about 30 minutes to the east of us and I buy bulk oolong tea from them it's like $40 a pound oh wow that sounds like a great deal and pretty good <laughs> all righty so uh yeah let's get into the bookstore so uh tell us about your bookstore you know um when you got started and where you're located and share a bit about your town we have been around since 1987 we are in the San Fernando Valley which is just a few minutes to the north of LA Um, We're kind of very near Universal Studios, and um, we are a large uh, general used bookstore. We specialize a little bit in literature and the arts. We have about 150,000 books in stock. We also carry a lot of rare books, and um, we just uh, love being booksellers. Right, sounds fabulous, and that's quite interesting. So you're near uh, the Universal and all that's happening there. Do you ever get a flow over of customers? who are in that area for the parks? We do. I, we cannot keep Harry Potter in stock because we're very near the Harry Potter part of uh, Universal Studios. And um, we also get a lot of interesting people coming from Hollywood. We deal with a lot of decorators. We get the occasional celebrity in. So that all makes it extra fun to work here. Oh, that sounds amazing. And I'm really, <laughs> you caught my interest with the Harry Potter. So everyone comes in. They, they, what kind of copies are they looking for? Oh, everything. I mean, we literally, we call the Harry Potter books, um, like, we call them jet airplane books, because all we have to do is throw them into the air, and they won't even hit the ground before they sell. (laughs) Um, And it, you know, people, of course, occasionally we get the hardcore collector who's looking for a British edition. Of course. Um, We don't see them come in too often, but all Harry Potter just flies out of here really fast. Wow, that that's quite interesting and amusing to hear actually that's pretty cool uh so tell me more about you lisa uh how did you get started in the book business i kind of was born into it my mom managed college bookstores and um so i grew up around bookstores and um when i got out of college i actually majored in screenwriting in college and i did that for a while and i had some success as a screenwriter but i didn't like it 
Um, I didn't really enjoy having my name on these really bad movies, the kind of things that show at like three in the morning on the sci-fi channel. Oh boy. And um, I had just finished a really bad film when I saw an opening at this store back in 1991 he was hiring and I knew that if I applied here I would be here for good so I actually thought about it a little bit and then I was like no I have to do it and so I've been here since 1991 and um, it is a great place to work overall. I would think so I mean 1991 it's 2019 that's 28 years that's a long time. It is. Uh-huh. How how do you think this bookstore owner I mean he opened in uh, I, I think you said 87 earlier so that in right, itself uh-huh. is 32 years. You've been there for most of this bookstore's life. Uh, how were you guys able to stay open so long? Well, there are a couple of, I think, secrets to our success. Um, the biggest one at this point is that we bought the current building that we're in. People, you know, we hear a lot of people asking us that question, and a lot of people think that ebooks are killing a lot of the local bookstores because there used to be a lot in LA and there aren't very many of us left now. But the truth is, it's real estate. Uh, um, all of the nice bookstores that I know of, I think many of them have been forced out of business because landlords suddenly get these crazy ideas of the value of the business and they price the bookstores right out. And that happened to us. We have been in our current location for about 13 years now. And before that, we were not very far away. But it was a situation where the landlord suddenly raised the rent so high, we said, that's crazy, we can go buy a building for that. Wow. Um, so we did, and it was the smartest thing that we could have done. And um, I think one of the other things about us is that we uh, actively buy all the time, so our stock is constantly churning, it keeps it fresh, and our regulars, um, I would say probably close to 60%, 70% of our business are regulars. And they really love being able to come in and find new stuff like every day. Right. But I mean, 60, 70 percent, that's a healthy, healthy number, um, you know, to have customers uh, revolving through your door. So it sounds like you have a healthy bookstore community in your area. We do. Yeah, we would. Um, one of the unfortunate things about us is we're not really set up to do events. Um, right. you know, it would be fun to do signings and, and um, speakings and here and so forth. But we have very late hours. We're open until 10 every night until except Sunday. Wow. Um, and we're busy for the, uh, clear up until we close at 10. So we just are not really able to accommodate um, events. But we love being part of the community and we do what we can to, to stay part of that. I mean, being open until 10 is a service indeed. Yeah, I think so. It also, we will buy up until 9 in the evening. So it also gives people a chance to clear out their closets and come in after work with um, our great new stock. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, everything you've described sounds great. Uh, What could you uh, tell readers and book lovers? What could they expect when they walk into your bookstore? Well, we uh, are fairly large. We've got about 5,000 square feet here. Um, We have a lot of books in most areas. Our books are, we try to uh, price our books very inexpensively. That's, I think, another one of the secrets to our success. You can walk out of here with a huge stack of books for $20. Um, We even keep free boxes in the back, things that people bring into us that we can't use. We always want them to find a good home, so we keep free boxes. And uh, also expect two really frisky bookstore cats. Oh, Uh, that sounds great. We have Zeus and Apollo here. They're about five years old. They are notorious for doing things like um, leaping onto people's shoulders and riding around with them as they walk through the store. So... Um, especially in the mornings. They're really active in the mornings. And so expect some fun with uh, those two little miscreants. <laughs> no, it sounds fun. It sounds absolutely fun. Hey guys, listen to the full podcast episode over on our Patreon page. So Patreon allows listeners like you to support the show as well as our online directory for independent bookstores. You'll also get additional perks for joining, such as discount codes for some awesome products and services. You'll be able to share your input and submit questions for the show, get behind the scenes content, weekly business updates, shout outs, plus lots more. That's patreon.com forward slash bibliofinder. I'm really looking forward to talking with you there.